27 Division I college football games this Thursday night to start off week one. The real college football season is here, but there's only two games on the main betting rotation, only two games in which FBS teams face off, and no offense to Coastal Carolina, Jacksonville State, but the spotlight game this Thursday night is National TV, Fox, 8 o'clock Eastern, North Carolina, Minnesota, and I've got a money-making opportunity, a free play for you in that game, coming up here with analysis in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, and we're breaking down the spotlight game to start week one here on Thursday night, August the 29th, 8 o'clock Eastern, Fox National TV, North Carolina at Minnesota, and this is a revenge game for the Golden Gophers. Uh, they dropped their third game of the season last year, their first road game last year at North Carolina about a year ago, 31-13. to They were a seven-point dog in that game. And it did stay under the total of 52 points. And that was actually pretty impressive because North Carolina, of course, for several years has been a high-scoring offensive team. But Minnesota's offense did struggle at times last year, and especially in that game, it stayed under the total. But I think the under is worth a look again here in the rematch in Week 1. Now, Minnesota does qualify as a home dog with revenge against a UNC team that looks weaker on offense after losing the number 3 overall NFL draft pick quarterback Drake May this past spring. But Carolina has a solid defense coming into this game. In fact, on both units, Minnesota and North Carolina, more experienced players return on the defense. Now, Minnesota has almost the entire offense back. The problem is they don't have their quarterback back. And this is going to be a learning experience for both teams. New quarterbacks, solid veteran defenses. And, of course, the defense is usually ahead of the offense early in the season in college football because there's no preseason, there's no exhibition games. Coming out of the gate here, defense has the edge, especially with a full month to prepare for the opponent. And I like the under uh, 50 and a half in this one. I said 48 and a half earlier. I misspoke. 50 and a half, as this is a little bit tick below 51, which is a very key number. So here's the strategy I would use is wait. Get closer to kickoff. Let's see if the public money, the public likes overs. Let's see if they push it higher to 51, because 51 is a very key number in both college and pro football. Lots of totals get us there. 27-24, um, you know, 41-10. Lots of margins can get you to 51. It's a key number. 27-24 is the most likely in this matchup because I think it'll be a competitive game. But my point is the risk-reward of waiting here is very good. Wait and try to get a 51 if you play the under. See if it becomes available by kickoff Thursday night. If not, you can always wait a second or two into the game. But the problem with doing that is if nobody scores early, that total is going to drop. So once again, I like the under, currently 50 and a half if you check the Wager Talk live odd screen. But hold off near kickoff. Let's see if you can find a 51. If you see a 51 or higher, that's when you jump in, as that is a very key number in both college and pro football. So once again, Minnesota, North Carolina, under the total is the way I would look. North Carolina, as I mentioned, lost their uh, top quarterback, Drake May, from last year. Uh, they did get SEC transfer Johnson in, but they got Harrell as well. It looks like they could have a two-headed monster at quarterback here for game one, but I think they're going to rely more on the running game for that reason. And Minnesota was a notch down last year defensively, giving up 27 points a game. But keep in mind, the two years before that, uh, when they went a combined 18-8, and 9-4 and four back-to-back seasons, they gave up only 14 and 17 points those two years, and they do, rec- and cl- they do return one of the 25 most experienced defensive units in the nation this year. So I think Minnesota will get back to be more of a defensive team. I think that offense could be suspect, especially breaking in a new quarterback. I look for a conservative game plan by both teams here in a spotlight game. That also helps the under, once again, under 50 and a half. But wait and try to get a 51 between Minnesota and North Carolina. 8 o'clock Eastern Thursday night on Fox National TV. Hey, if you're liking these videos, do me a quick favor, thumbs up, like, and be sure to subscribe and click the bell as well for instant alerts so you know when these free play videos go live throughout the week for both baseball and football. And hey, speaking of baseball, I know we're talking college football. That's where the excitement is, but baseball is a great moneymaker late in the season. I am proving it once again on over an 80% baseball run the past couple weeks, ranked number one over the last 30 days in profit in Major League Baseball at wagertalk.com. And right now, we got college football starting the NFL next week, baseball in full swing, no pun intended, for the next two months. Not a bad time to pick up an all-sports, all-access subscription. We also have a football intro special right now. Buy two weeks, get the third week for free, get some baseball with it as well. Just a great time to check out wagertalk.com. And my page has a daily free play every day as well. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. To get those strong baseball and football best bets, get a daily free play and go there right now. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. And get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Comment below. I read all the comments. I reply back. What other games do you like here in week one of college football? 
And don't forget to comment below because I do reply back on all these videos. And also check out my college football top 25 video into this weekend here on Wager Talk TV. Yet another reason, thumbs up, like, hit subscribe, and click that bell for instant alerts. You can also follow me on Instagram, at Steve Merrill. Also on Twitter, on X, at Steve Merrill. It's two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill. Two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on Twitter, X, and Instagram. And stay tuned here on Wager Talk TV for some more great free content coming up next.